The EpiPen is an auto-injector that administers adrenaline and it's carried by people who have epilepsy so that it can be used if the person goes into anaphylactic shock. There are two types of EpiPen, the EpiPen and the EpiPen Junior. To avoid accidents and prevent damaging the EpiPen, they should always be carried in their case when not in use. There are easy to read instructions down the side of each pen and these should be read to make sure you use it correctly. The blue cap shows you the top of the EpiPen and this is the safety cap which makes sure that the needle doesn't come out when not in use. Once removed the unit is live. The cap can be replaced without the EpiPen being used, however you must do so carefully as you could accidentally inject yourself with adrenaline. When using an EpiPen you should first remove it from its case. Then sit the patient down or if they're feeling dizzy lay them down. Remove the safety cap and gently push the auto injector into the thigh. This can be done through clothing but make sure that the needle doesn't go through any thick seams in the clothing or anything that's in their pockets. Once the needle has hit, hold it there for three seconds and then remove it. Stay where you are until the emergency services arrive. If you're treating someone and they are unconscious, place them in a recovery position. When the EpiPen has been used, a needle cover will appear automatically over the needle to prevent anyone getting injured. The used EpiPen should be given to the emergency services after use so that they can see exactly what's been administered to the patient and they can also dispose of it properly. Should a second dose be required, repeat the process and make sure you give both of the auto-injectors to the emergency services.